Hello everybody, this is Eric with tailoredtrainer.com. Today's Monday, March 12th, 2018. Uh, just about to be crossover the 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, or AKA New York City time. This is a quick video uh, regarding the higher time frame levels that I'm gonna be looking at, the higher time frame structure, or levels I should say, uh, via, via the Euro USD and the USD JPY, two of the uh, current, major currency peers that we day trade in the room. Uh, you can visit tailortrader.com for more information regarding that. Uh, but diving right in, what you'll see here is Euro USD on the weekly chart. Okay, actually, let me jump out to the monthly time frame first and foremost. Uh, while that's loading, everything in uh, orange is going to be regarding the monthly time frame. Now, I'll bring you to the monthly time frame because, real quick, as you'll see on the weekly time frame, we kind of have a we have a range uh, happening, and we have dueling dojis, which I'm going to speak about in just one moment. But uh, to help us with that, okay, always go up in time frame. I talk about this in my day trading room. But this is not about tactics. Okay, this is just about the levels that I'm going to be looking at uh, for this week going forward. Uh, again, for the 12th to the 16th, basically, and then I'll uh, redo a video for next week uh, going forward, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But diving right in. Okay, monthly chart. Uh, the last big breakout bar that we pretty much had on the Euro USD uh, came uh, on the turn of the new year. Uh, basically, January's bar. What you see here. This is the breakout bar uh, that we see without getting lower and kind of confusing you guys uh, zoning in here. It's the last big bar that we pretty much had uh, for the Euro where we have uh, a push through with some prices. Now you see, uh, this is the month of February's bar. Okay, we made a new high. And then we kind of swiped right back down in, kind of closed inside of the mid-range bar on January. Okay. Now, uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because what that kind of left is a weekly range inside of here. You'll see that on the weekly bar. Now, the reason why I'll bring you to the monthly bar is because uh, basically what I want to see is either we're, we're going to be either refilling this space up here in which the weekly bar will be pushing us higher, or in the event that we do, because you know, in the event that we do kind of drop down lower, we still could drop down lower in my mind's eye. Okay, we're still in the context of an uptrend. Okay, but you have to be careful. When I drop down to the weekly bar, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, but I'm basically waiting for these levels down here at the 21. We basically call it the 21 even, basically the 20, 93, 20, 70, 20, 42. And that's basically going to be some monthly retracement prices or retest level prices down here, in which I'm going to be looking at. Uh, everybody in my room knows anything in orange is going to be having to do with the monthly time frame. So this is kind of some unfinished business retracement prices down here in the monthly bar. As you can see, we would need to have um, obviously some uh, bearish pressure coming in in a new weekly low, uh, breaking below the 126, uh, the 121.65 price point, bringing us down to call it the 121 even. Okay. Uh, so so far we're kind of uh, in the mid range of the uh, February's bar. Okay. We're only basically a uh, week, week and a half into uh, March, and we're retracing up to the upside. Okay, uh, but we're going to have to take a quick uh, take a quick peek at the monthly bar um, as these uh, daily and weekly bars are forming up. Okay, if we do start to break and hold above these uh, this 24.10, 24.12, call it breaking a new weekly high from last week, then this bar will be green and we'll be kind of breaking above and holding about these monthly price point levels uh, in which we have to uh, zone down. Uh, into the small time frame to catch that, but you'd see that the higher time frame would be uh, continuing with its trend, the higher time frame. Now I'm down to the weekly bar. Okay, so here's my monthly extreme level lower. Here's my monthly extreme level higher, mapped out with these two kind of uh, orange rectangular boxes higher and lower. There goes that new uh, high put in for the month of February, and as you can see, it was followed by just a slap back down in price. And ever since then, we've kind of just been trapped in between these two weekly levels that I have here. So the controlling prices that I have on the weekly bar is going to be 20, 121.65 lower. And then, of course, you have the 124.35, which was kind of last week's high, okay? Last week's high price point. And then, again, slap back down, all right? Uh, now, this is just a range, all right? So we have to be careful here. I know a lot of traders are not even trading the euro at this point. Okay, which I understand. Now, day trading, there's some opportunity. You're just going to have to play it kind of right and tight. Okay, just be careful. We have one doji reversal off that 2165 that I mentioned. This was the last weekly low, at least in my book, that we had to either break below and hold to get us lower on the monthly or not. As you can see, we closed above.
putting a doji in on this bar here. And even last week, we had some fall through with a break above. But as you can see, we, we had this weekly high that we had to test at 124.35 and it slapped back down. Here we have dueling wicks, lower and higher, in the context of a weekly range. Okay, so we just have to be careful here. All right, Monday. Okay, you have the monthly extreme prices higher to 25. We have lower 21s. Okay, we have a couple of weekly levels that we really, if you're not paying attention to the higher time frames, okay, if you're not paying attention to the monthly and weekly time frames, you're probably getting swiped out. If you're having trouble trading the euro these past couple of weeks, okay, zone back out to the higher time frames. Okay, and it's probably only going to continue to be a little bit more frustrating over the next uh, maybe week or early part this week, uh, just because of the weekly bars. Uh, fishing out, okay, we have a, 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 basically what's happening is uh, the euro is just balancing out in between the 23, uh, in between the, the, its extremes. So we have a doji higher, doji lower. Now the last bar that we have closed is going to be doji lower, okay. If we do break and behold below this level, at the 122.70, this is what I'm going to be looking at this week. If we do kind of break below that, we could see some more bearish pressure coming in. In turn, that would be also painting that uh, monthly bar uh, potentially. But we're not going to turn red on the monthly until we get below these levels. So first line of business here in the euro, see if we can kind of can hold out the 122.70. Below this doji, we'd have to be careful. You kind of have to go with that uh, bearish momentum lower, okay? But you have to understand that we still are in the, high, uh, the context of, of an uptrend. Okay, the monthly bar is still in the context of an uptrend. Okay, you're still in an uptrend. All right, we could kind of base out, be careful of any dip, uh, daily basings, it breaks higher. We could be uh, wick filling this weekly bar up here at the 24.30. So early part of the week, these are going to be my levels, my uh, quote unquote extreme levels, but they're not as extreme. Okay, we're kind of getting trapped and kind of getting pinched in between monthly and weekly levels. The weekly is starting to get real ugly in here, so just be careful. Okay, play it tight. Uh, these are the uh, levels that I'm looking at lower. These are the levels that I'm looking at higher. Jumping down to the daily. Uh, just like I mentioned, if you're not paying attention to the higher time frames, right? New daily high wick, okay? New high, followed by a bearish engulfing, bringing us back down. New low, new weekly low, kind of down, um, you know, not really quite a level. I was expecting it to get lower and it just kind of turned off that weekly level, all right? Stopping people out, bringing it back into the range, okay? Now, well, here we are, kind of uh, approaching mid March, okay? And we're kind of mid range, okay? So just be careful. Okay, the extremes are uh, outside of these uh, weekly levels here, monthly to monthly. And again, you guys could uh, trade within this range here. These are going to be more of the uh, kind of uh, more aggressive extremes, weekly to weekly. Okay, as you can see, even uh, today, uh, being Monday, off of Friday's doji bar. Okay, we're just kind of hanging out here already uh, for, for Monday morning. Uh, nothing to shout about here. We kind of had a short trade early on in the part of the session. Okay, hit the short, covered, and then I re-entered, and then I'm kind of in a little bit of a loss in this mid-range here. Okay, here's my shorts, and now I'm kind of like uh, giving a little bit back for uh, for the time being, but I'm stopping out if we go a little bit higher. So this is exactly what I'm saying, guys. Just be careful going out um, trading this week in the euro, at least in the early part of this week. Okay, we have our extreme levels lower and higher. Don't get uh, don't get frustrated or stopped out and give equity back uh, while it's trying to work out kind of where it wants to go. If you want to wait for some hold or some breaks and holds, you could do that as well. I have a couple of guys that are going to be waiting for a break, retracement, okay, and then uh, catching it higher. That's always a plan, okay? Or you could do the same thing lower down here. Break, retrace, right? But again, dueling weekly bars, just be careful there. I'm going to head over to the UJ. I'm going to start on the monthly time frame on the euro, on the, uh, I'm sorry, the U UJ. Now, 
UJ monthly higher time frame analysis, this 105.50 handle, all right, I have a couple of YouTube videos regarding this uh, retracement level uh, back in 2016, October 2016, this monthly high that was retested as a low here. This also uh, was a multiple, uh, you know, multiple um, price congestion high low point on the monthly bar. Again, just like I always say in my room every day, if you're not concentrating on the higher time frames, you're probably getting lost uh, and chopped out. Okay, so uh, basically what I'm looking at, 105.50 handle is still intact. Uh, and also the 107.50 handle is still intact from the monthly to monthly. So monthly here, I connected this line to this line to show you the kind of the monthly ranging uh, that's happening in the UJ. All right, back down to the weekly time frame. You can see the 107.50. We have a couple of weekly highs. Okay, so we just been trading below, trading below, trading below this 105.50 monthly handle. Now when the, uh, again, off of the 105.50 handle, okay, I know that overshot uh, up here, the, 10, uh, the ultimate high is kind of a weekly high at 107.86, okay, but you can see, uh, you know, lower lows, sorry, lower highs on the weekly. So far right now, uh, this last bar, last week's close, we closed inside of this weekly bar structure. That's kind of how the yen trades. We have a big breakout followed by some consolidation on the weekly time frame. It's just inside of this prior week's bar. Okay, so just be careful. Again, almost like the euro inside bar setup on the weekly time frame. Have to drop down to the daily. Here's my extreme lows off the 105 handle. And the extreme highs met with some weekly highs up here at the 107.50 and the 105.50. Everything in the middle here, you gotta have to be careful, guys, okay? Uh, play it kind of tight. Now on the daily time frame, as far as day trading, play it tight, all right? Don't let that market go too far against you. On the daily time frame, I do have this uh, reversal bar um, that happened off the 105 handle. The high price came in at 106.40, all right? And that provided a nice rip higher to from monthly low to monthly high here. Uh, since then, we kind of came back down. We made a new low, but we still respected this 105.50 handle, okay? And we actually did doji off this again uh, back on 3, 7, March 7th last week. Okay. Now, so far, this is uh, today's bar. All right. We had a breakout from this uh, doji. Again, monthly low, doji off of that monthly low. Okay. Inside bar break. Okay. This, th today, we have uh, just an inside bar on the daily, which is inside on the weekly bar structure. So inside, 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 etc. Just be careful. Here's my, uh, just here's my uh, weekly levels higher. Uh, being uh, confluenced with the monthly time frames higher. Okay, so this is probably the, the, the range that I'm looking at here to potentially to go higher. Of course, this market is still in a downtrend. Okay, still in a downtrend. If we start to take out this these levels here, we could potentially see 105 potentially being retested. Okay, so far, you know, this is why I just don't put a video and say it's a swing setup, especially the way that these weekly and daily bars are set up right now early in the week inside bar structure, uh, we're going to have to wait for some momentum break higher or lower. Now, I did take a little bit of a, uh, of a long, okay, I'm still in it, basically a break even. I have my stop uh, a little bit lower below uh, below the 104, I'm sorry, the 106.40, okay, right there. Just been kind of sitting on this all day uh, long inside of this structure. I did manage to get this breakout trade here uh, from this doji uh, from my room. Uh, bought, you can see my accumulations here, and then selling out on that break higher. Okay, average filled at about 106.010 down here. Okay, again, I was playing this daily doji right here. You can see that 106.010 lower. Okay, pre-break. Okay, got the breakout. You see these little dots here, 106.65. That's going to be my target. All right, took a little long uh, on Friday in here. Okay. And then here I am here just bouncing out. All right, we took a bounce off 106.40 again. All right, this is mid-range, so just be careful. It's still there, it's still being used. I'm gonna see if I can hold on this long. Either we're gonna get stopped out or I get a nice little pop for a continuation higher. So uh, again, if you wanna take this live call, I guess I'm long. All right, I'm gonna be long unless we break lower. Here's my stop out price right here, okay. But again, not the highest quality setup as we're inside of this weekly bar. Inside weekly bar, okay, inside daily bar, we did not make a new high or new low. If we make a new low from Friday's bar, I'm out. The four hour bar is inside mother bar setting up.
and this is the mother bar. we just have four, eight, twelve hours of range. you can see since this big drop, okay, we the 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 next three, four hour bars, we're forty seven minutes away from this, hasn't done anything, has not broken a new low or a new high. now i'm long. i'm long in this. i got long started from this bar here. took one little drop. i did not get stopped out, okay. so i'm still long holding that in forty seven minutes. if this could doji close and we get a break higher, then of course i'd be taking profits at least tp a little bit up here at the one hundred six ninety if we can get that. in fact, let me place an order right here to tp on this right now live on this video here okay, or i'm gonna get stopped out below again this four hour level right here you can see my red line is represented. here's my buys blue arrows of course buy so we'll see if we can get a pop. Again, not the best setup. Inside bar. Now we did close. Um, you know, if you're looking at this uh, UJ bar in itself, all right, we, we I wouldn't really classify this as an engulfing bar. Okay, uh, not so much. All right, but if we do kind of break above that, I'm sure this is going to be triggering some stops. All right, taking out some shorts to the upside, which could potentially fuel uh, some type of long, at least early out, early part of this week. Okay, but again, just like I said, guys, you can see this monthly level right here, represented by orange. Be careful, I'd be taking profit uh, as we're approaching this level up here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, just be careful. A lot of inside bar formations on uh, the higher time frames, which represents could be a lot of noise in the smaller time frames. Okay, so again, uh, this is Eric with TaylorTrader.com. Hopefully, this helped. Uh, I'm a little bit stuffy from being sick over this weekend, so uh, forgive my voice and my energy level. Uh, but hopefully this helped. Hopefully this made sense. Again, if you want to take, if you want to watch me take these live setups off these levels uh, every day, you can visit www.taylortrader.com. And that's where you'll find me. That's all for this video. Take care, guys. High time frame levels. Trade safe.